one of the things that I missed when I started using DWM were the media keys because I think we're all kind of used to everything being programmed for us even even on Linux now it's becoming you know really common that everything is kind of geared towards making things easier and you know more of the traditional route like it is on Windows or Mac but uh, I really miss them and then you know after doing some research I found out that you can uh, implement the the F media keys uh, and it's very very easy in DWM so let's navigate to the source code so we can see how this is done the first thing that you have to do is you have to have this include line here so what does this do it it lets uh, DWM have access to the um, the F keys and through this built-in library All right. so after we've done that then we go down here and we can start actually defining uh, the function calls that we want so we're just defining functions that we will call later on with a key press so the first one here is for uh, up volume and so what's the structure of this it looks it looks a little bit strange but it's not too bad so this first you can say parameter is uh, the binary so what what program is it calling it's calling this pulse audio binary here then the second one it's the actual uh, function name right and then there's a second zero parameter uh, I'm not too sure about exactly what the zero does but it's probably some uh, pulse audio uh, function parameter here and then here this is the actual uh, how, how, how many steps you're going up so you're going up by 5% when you are increasing the the volume and over here the null just denotes like you know like this is the end and then the same thing for uh, down volume it, it's doing the same thing except going the opposite direction then for mute um, I actually set I set it through a toggle so I don't say like go on or off I just you know I'll hit mute and then whatever state it's in it'll just you know invert it and another neat thing about uh, DWM is that you can even hard code things you know like really really custom things so you can even uh, create a, a, a script and call that within DWM on a key press which I do here but anyway let's keep going then for the brightness keys here this is the function that I use now on my other laptop it um, actually did not need any function call it just worked straight out of the box in DWM but that laptop is it's kind of you know it's really dated I don't know maybe it's because it's old and it, it has completely different hardware so I was kind of surprised I actually didn't need to call a function to change the backlight the keys just worked automatically but I had to add it here so uh, the the formatting is the same you this is the binary I'm calling the backlight then the parameter for incrementing and then the steps so I'm going up by five and the same thing for brightness down you know calling the backlight decremain, uh, decrementing and then the step is by five anyway so then we have another GUI event here that I have to uh, update the, the display here, which I have to fix because I transferred my scripts here and some things are kind of broken. So that's going to take a little bit of time. But I also have a shutdown command. Um, and this, I, I think this, this should work here. Yeah, I think I tested it. There's nothing wrong with it. It shouldn't. It's not device specific like some of the other stuff might be. Um, and then I have a lock command similar to like Windows where you press like the Windows key and then L now if we scroll down here so this is where you actually uh, define what keys will call what so right here uh, the first the first parameter is the mod key right and then it also takes the shift mask so you're pressing you know alt shift plus some key here then there is uh, this this function spawn which I'm not exactly too sure on but this is the argument that you're passing into it here which is in this case the lock command because I'm telling the 
uh, DWM to lock the screen once I press, you know, uh, Alt, Shift, and then L. And you can see for the shutdown, it's the same thing except I'm pressing Alt, Shift, and S. But let's go on to the media keys because those are those look different. So uh, instead of since we don't have a a mod key or a shift mask, that's just zeroed out the the first parameter there, the first one in this list here. And then we will call the the key based on what it's named in that library that we uh, imported in the beginning, right? So. Uh, the the name for the key to lower the volume is audio lower volume um, and then after that we we have this spawn uh, parameter here and then we write down the actual uh, name that we named our our function up top well not our function but that that little list that we made and here I had it uh, called uh, twice so that it could actually update the GUI and um, this again it, it worked on my last laptop but here it's broken and I'm not too sure why but I have to go through my script to fix it but you can do that and I've tested it and it and it works fine then the same thing for the mute you know ex except it's a different uh, key name and the same thing for um, for raising the volume um, and the brightness as well so it's really neat and it's really easy and you can create all kinds of shortcuts um, to launch you know apps and stuff and it's really convenient and I really really like it um, but that that's that's pretty much how you do this so I hope that you found this useful